my name is Rachel Hutchison. I'm an AWI wool handling trainer. Today in this video we're going to go through some basic wool handling techniques. So our shearer has removed the belly wool. The first thing we're going to just look for is skin pieces. And at the request of the classer, we're going to be removing the brisket, which is our short inferior wool. We then move to a weather belly, same as before, removing the brisket. We also then need to remove any pizzle stain. So we're gonna break the belly wool open and go around the middle taking the stain out. So now the shearer has approached the crutch area. What we're going to be looking for is taking out any inferior wool. So the shanks, short wool, stain and depending what your classer has asked you to do, whether they get separated or all go together. Being mindful of the shearer's handpiece and then placing the hind leg back in front of the shearer. As our shearer starts to come down the last side, we approach the fleece, checking for any shanks that are on top, removing them. Then we're going to start to set up our fleece. We need to find the hind leg underneath. The neck wool usually lands over the top of it. Then we're just going to flatten out our fleece, keeping it nice and compact, taking off the last shanks. Then we can grasp the two hind legs in our hands, gathering it together, rolling over and scooping underneath, ready for our throw. So as we turn to throw our fleece, holding on to the hind legs, we need to lift up above the table, flicking out the neck wool and landing on the table. to the table to do our skirting. We're removing any short wool left behind in the crutch area. Then we're going to take the sweaty edges off the edge of the fleece. And flipping it over so that we can check that there's nothing left behind. We're also going to be checking for skin or anything else that we need to take out as requested by the classer. <laughs> 